What's going on guys? It's your boy Vizzy. Welcome back to the channel. This is the channel where takes not everything. It's the only way. So today we'll be taking a deep look at the Fotar 60 and 45 millimeter Pro 2 lenses for your smartphone. So cue the intro. As we know, more and more people are using smartphone as a daily photographer drivers over DSLR like myself. So I was very skeptical when it comes to mobile lenses. So I reached out to Fortar Gear to collab and they sent me out two of the lenses. No money was exchanged. All opinions are mine. Based on my experience, uh, they do not have a say in this video. They get to see the video at the same time you guys do. So y'all, first thing first, let's get into the unboxing. It's a very simplistic unboxing. No matter what lens you buy, the packagings are all the same. Inside the box, you get a 60 millimeter lens. You get a cleaning cloth, you get a carry sack, you get a carry case. The carry case actually feels like canvas. I was torn between canvas, denim, but either ways, it does feel good. <laughs> It does feel nice, it feels nice in the hand. For the 60 millimeter, you also get a aluminum cover for the glass in the front, nothing in the back actually. So I just put it in a carry sack. For the 45 millimeter though, you get a nice silicone cover. I actually like the silicone cover because it covers the front glass and it also has a little attachment to the back, like a juice bottle, <laughs> it's attached to it. Um, you get manual certification cards, the same fixing that you get in all the boxes. So any boxes, they have all the same, but the lenses was just kind of presented a little bit different. Fortar said the material used are film grade, high transparency, optical glass, and aerospace grade aluminum alloy for the frame. From my experience, it does feel and build really well. For most iPhone users though, you can get that um, dedicated Fortar iPhone case uh, it has that aluminum um, backplate mount for seamless integrated and unobstructed lens performance I'm pretty sure they build cases for android as well what i realized the t-mount lock mechanism is very similar to the moment t-series lenses backplate i actually um I actually get an idea and i modify that small rig and mount backplate to fit the Fortar gear lenses onto my small rig phone cage for the iPhone 50 Pro Max. It looks really dapper, man. I, I, I don't know what to say. The case here that they send out is very flimsy. If you kind of flip your phone upside down, like you hold it like that, the phone will actually fall out. So I also just getting that universal mount that clips over your screen. That seems a lot more safer than just using this case or you could do like me if you want to learn about that rig i can make a video or something about that rig you can also purchase an adapter ring that allows you to attach 58 millimeters and 67 millimeter um, professional optical filters it's nice to add filters to your camera if you're shooting in your dedicated uh frame rate you have to remember that smartphone in general has a small sensor so don't expect too much when it comes to these external lenses they just add focal length um using the native camera app with the 60 millimeter portrait it was all it was a plethora of problems i had with it um for one the image was very hazy and distorted the skin was a little bit purple there was a lot of chromatic operation and abnormal lens flare in some cases i had to actually bring down the exposure just to get a slightly better looking image and it was still unusable so i thought maybe i got a defective lens i downloaded the photo gear pro camera app because i didn't know they actually have an app till i see it on your website so i went there to see if there's something in there that can help me their pro camera app is way more ergonomic than apple native camera app you get a lot of manual control their app feels really premium but there was nothing in there that could fix the problems that i had as for the 45 millimeter macro though this is gonna sound a little crazy but it did not experience none of these abnormalities that i had with the 60 millimeter the images were tack sharp there was no haze there was no chromatic aberration i didn't even have to touch the exposure it was straight computation i'd say i got more composed and bokeh ridge picture here's the issue i have though uh, you can't move to a normal focal length you have to stay in that focus radius any range beyond the 45 millimeter is pure blur it would be nice if you could do more and see more with the ability to get closer when it comes to video performance though holy shit, i was getting full performance as photar advertised 
no chromatic aberration, no uh, distortion. I love the enhanced bokeh I was getting, adding that little professional touch to my videos. I was very happy with the quality that I was getting out of both lenses when I switched over to video. So I shoot ProRes RAW 4K using the Blackmagic app with the four tire gear lenses. I call it like the dynamic trio. It's just sad that I can't say the same when it comes to photography. I actually shoot a baby shower with this combination and the result was vocalicious. It was vocalicious. If you're a photographer that uses mobile phones for your creative work, it's hard to recommend the 65 millimeter because of its shortcomings. As for the 45 millimeter though, I think it's a niche lens. Not everyone is doing macro photography. You know, if you're a videographer though, at any scale, these lenses are great addition to your collection. As for the price, which I think they're priced pretty well, well, on their website, they're under a hundred bucks comparing to a lot of lens company out there like uh, Moment, Newer, Small Rig. I don't think I'll personally invest in mobile lenses, you know, since mobile phones are getting better with their lenses. So I'm gonna leave that one to you. If you, you decide if you <laughs> make just purchase, it's a boy busy. Like, subscribe and share my channel. And yo, I'll see you in the next one. I got to sign out on this one.